This is a big moment. Here we go. The start of it all, 2,200 kilometers. Hi, I'm Krista. I'm a through hiker embarking on my biggest challenge yet, the 2200 kilometer, that's 1400 miles Croatian long distance trail known as the CLDT. The trail consists of three sections, A, B, and C, and passes through many types of terrain from maintained mountain trails to wild trails, forest paths, gravel roads, and more. You can join me on this adventure by watching my weekly videos here on YouTube. So here I am, taking my first steps on the CLDT. But let's rewind, I need to take you back to how I got here, because that's a big part of the story. My husband Brian and I shipped our van from Canada to Europe back in January, drove it around for three months before entering into Croatia. We officially made it into Croatia last night and it is 24 hours until the start of my attempt to hike the Croatian Long Distance Trail. It spans the entire length of Croatia and it's about 2,200 kilometers in length. So I need to hike every single day that we're here. We're here for three months and that's the only time that I have. So I need to get a lot of kilometers in every day. We have lots to get organized today. First step was to get SIM cards so that we have access to connections so we can keep working as we're here. Digital nomad gold right here. Gold. And then I need to go get my groceries. I need to make sure I have all my gear ready to go, any last minute shopping I need to do, and then I should be ready. Because I am not bringing a stove, I have to find all food that I don't need to cook. So I've never done this before for all of my food. It's gonna be really interesting. We're back in the van, we got so much good stuff, so it's time to put everything away. Okay, so that's it. From here to the end of the oven, that's my hiking food. Lunch is done, time to do the dishes. All right, dishes dried. A few things that we have to get done for work. So we're gonna start driving to a lock, which is the starting point of the trail. And we'll just pull over somewhere that looks good where we can just park and work for a bit. And then we'll keep making our way to the start point of the trail. Oh, I'm getting really excited. You should be. Okay. Ready to go? It's starting to sink in that I'm actually going to attempt to do this, which... We are at the trailhead. We just had a beer along the river, which was so lovely. And now Brian and I are sitting down to get some work done. All right, what's the story? Okay, so I am going to get started today. So I'm starting a bit later. I've got to pack all my snacks for the day. I got my mountain goat bag so that I always have them with me. That's what I'm bringing for the day. And I've decided for the first few nights, just as I get like oriented to Croatia and hiking and everything, I'm gonna meet Brian and I'll stay in the van with him. And then once I'm more comfortable, I'll start tenting. I just wanna like get the lay of the land. It's a country I've never been to. And I have the opportunity to stay in the van with Brian. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that should be everything I need for today. So far, my pack feels light. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, this is it. I'm about to put my pack on and take my first step on the CLDT. It feels surreal. I'm so excited at this point. I feel like all my nerves have melted away and I'm just so excited. This is gonna be so cool. I'm starting. I'm doing it. One step at a time. I love the different colors of the houses. <laughs> it looks like I'm leaving the lock, the town, and I'm entering farm now. This is so cool. I just did 3k on this paved road and the legs are starting to get achy. I'm 6k into 18k and I have a turn off here. Oh, there's a car, better get across. And I think it might be more of a hiking trail. <laughs> I feel like I'm starting to get my groove now. My legs are definitely feeling tired, but no aches and pains yet. I shouldn't say yet, no aches and pains. And I'm already really quite enjoying it. This is a beautiful forest. The sounds are amazing. Okay, my heart is racing. I just saw a huge group of wild pigs. And I just happened to be by this structure, I could climb up if I need to. I startled them and they ran away. There they are. There they are. There they are. I've never seen wild pigs before. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like legitimately terrified right now. Okay. I think I'm doing okay now, but I'm gonna be on high alert, head on a swivel. Okay, I just had my first run in with the police and they were just checking my documents because um, I'm really close to the Serbian border. So they, they patrol and they check for people walking. Okay. I'm on the trail again. It is really windy, so I'm sorry about the noise, but I am in field. I can see all the way to where I'm going, so I'm not worried about getting lost. There's Brian right there. He's gonna drive past me at some point. Here we go, almost done the day. Beautiful light, look at that. Okay, home sweet home. Here we are.
All right, day two has started. I'm heading out and got all my stuff. It's a little chillier today, so I'm wearing my jacket. I've been walking with basically one pole anyway, so I'm gonna cut down. Already back out into the country, so that was a really small town we were in. And uh, just getting into the groove. I'm listening to podcasts on this part of my hike. I don't know if I'll do that always, but lots of long gravel roads, so it makes me want to listen to something just to keep my mind from wandering. The legs and the feet are so achy and sore. There's some kind of animal in that bush. So I'm doing pretty well, but mentally I forgot how hard through hiking can be, especially when it's not like exciting terrain. You just have to like walk for the sake of walking and not really for any other reason. I'm walking that way. And I came from that way. Brian met up with me so we could figure out the exact spot we're gonna meet up later. So I've got another 4K. 4K to go. Oh, my legs are tired and I gotta go back into the wind. Bye. All right, I'm on the final couple hundred meter stretch here. Brian should be within less than half a K. So I'm feeling really done to be hiking today. This is a very challenging day for me because I'm not used to these distances at all yet. All right, it's time to eat and rest this evening. Man, my feet are sore. Bon appétit. Bon appétit, my love. Mm. I'm lying on our floor so that I can elevate my feet and it feels way better. It's the morning of day three and I did a little bit of work at the computer this morning and when I stood up, I felt a twinge in my back and it felt really similar to when I hurt my back in Halifax. So I think that um, my core and all my muscles and everything are really fatigued from these hikes that I've been doing. So I'm really concerned about my back. I'm really concerned it's not going to do well today. I'm really hoping that it sort of just gets better as I walk. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a bit down today. I'm feeling like my body wasn't quite ready and I'm not sure if it can handle this load I'm putting on it. Often wearing a backpack actually helps my back, so I'm really hoping that helps. I 
get the vibe that you're distant There's something about you that's different I see it in your eyes All right, I've gone a couple hundred meters and it feels about the same. It doesn't feel like the back's getting worse, but it's definitely, like I'm definitely walking a lot more awkwardly. Okay, I found Brian, which means I've been going for 3K. My back, it might feel a little bit better, a little bit looser. Definitely still twingy though. Hi, baby. Are you making lunch? I got a feast for you. Oh, great. I do think if I do like maybe 6K continuous that it might loosen up even more because it did feel like it was loosening up more as I got closer to the van, which is a good sign. Okay, Brian met up with me again. Here he is. Um, we've met up now every three or four K. So now I'm feeling like my back is loosening up a bit more and I'm able to keep a pretty consistent pace. So we're gonna plan to meet in town in 8K and I just have to walk through a big field to get there. So I think I'm okay. I think the walking is loosening things up. So I'm just gonna stick with that and um, it definitely feels better to have my pack on, to be honest. When I'm walking without it, it feels a bit more sore. So, doing okay. Do you think I can do it? I think you can do it. It started to rain, so I've got my second layer on, got my pack cover on, and just had a snack, taking a break for my back and my legs and everything. So, it's feeling about the same. It's not feeling worse, so that's a great sign. It's feeling pretty much the same. I made it down to the river now, and I'll be walking along the water to a riverside restaurant that Brian is supposed to be meeting me at. Oh my goodness. Oh, Brian's here. Oh. Oh, he came, he came sooner to make sure I was okay. Oh, that's so sweet of him. walking down this absolutely beautiful river path and it's really lifting my spirits. It's almost like my pain is better. So it just goes to show you how much of a mental game hiking and pain really is. There he is. Time to have a shower. Oh my goodness. How many Ks did I do today? Like 20? Yeah. That's pretty impressive considering how sore my back is that I just did 20k. Wow, I did it. I did 20k. It wasn't pretty, but it happened. It's pretty surreal. Fresh shower, my hair is washed. Oh, that feels good. I'm really hoping it feels a bit better tomorrow. We'll see. Thanks for cleaning up. You're welcome. All right, Brian, I'm off. All right, have fun. I'll see you later today. Okay, yeah. bye, love bye. you. Okay, my back is feeling a little bit better. So I'm off for a regular hiking day today. I think I'm gonna be okay. I'm moving a lot better today. I'm going to save the next part of this story for next week's episode. To make sure you don't miss it, you can click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you know every time I release an episode. Thank you so much for watching.